everybody, and welcome to part 6 of Ration Clank Going Commando. So, today we'll be doing the Clank segment. And... Divide, jump, then hold X while in midair. Yeah, we know that. Uh, what I was gonna say is hopefully there's nothing we have to destroy here, because I clearly see destroyable lights. So I'm hoping that doesn't mean anything. Hey, are you guys like Megabots? To control Microbots, hold Triangle and select a command. I like how they're literally just... What the... How they're just gadgetbots, but literally just named microbots, you know, due to reasons that Megacorp and Gadgetron. Did you? Do you idiots seriously have to run right into it? Hey, a bridge bot. Acquired. Use it to build bridges across gaps. Okay. Uh, build me a bridge, sir. This game literally has the most creativity when it comes to, you know, dealing with Clank and stuff. And you can all retract him and bring him with you. I believe. I believe you can bring him with it. Dude. Yeah, you can. Alright, the guys attack. And don't run into the laser like idiots. Good. Is this a hammer bot or a lift bot? Lifter bot acquired. Use Lifter. It to large blocks. All right, sir. Please lift this block. Thank you. Much appreciated, bro. Oh, he literally just gets rid of it. Seems a little weird, but attack. Okay, no one's gonna listen to me. These older games are a little buggy when it comes to doing stuff like that. So build me a bridge. Get around to you, and then go for the attack. Nom nom nom. Because you know they'll literally home in on clanks, so you've got to be careful. Wait, is that it? That's seriously it, I believe. Way to go, Clank! <laughs> Nothing to it. You did great. Now let's go get that experiment back that experiment back. Okay, wait, no, we can go back in here. Completed on this planet. Search other planets for available missions. Sure. Why not? Still, like I said, we gotta go back and, you know, get some of the stuff done. Well, I mean, not done. Just finish collecting some of the stuff. Yeah, see, now we can, like, high jump. And, oh, it's gonna be so much faster and easier. And, Oh, to jump long distances, run, then press R1 and X at the same time. We don't really run, it's your run and walk speed are literally the same in this game. Hey, oh. You just have to be moving is pretty much what she's saying. Oh no, no avoiding that dude. Man, just being able to like smash them with your wrench would be so much easier at this point. To glide over gaps, press X to jump, then press and hold X while in midair. Or you can just literally do that. That also works. Is there anything down there that I missed? No, it doesn't look like they put anything that you can miss there. Alright. Gotta destroy some more goodies here. Plank also comes with a thruster. Okay. Just be quiet for right now. I gotta, I gotta check something. Make sure that's the right one. Uh, smash and grab. Blah, 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 destroy all breakables in circ. Smash up the circular city. That makes no sense. Attack option. The thrust okay. attack has the same moves as We're the done. attack, except it uses rocket propulsion. To select the thruster pack, go to the gadgets menu and select the icon. Yeah, literally there is no difference to that other than, you know, what she just said. It just, it's for looks. If you want a more old school one, then you just deal with that, so. There is going to be a skill point in this game where you literally have to go and kill all the enemies in a certain planet with just the old classic weapons from the first game. Like, while they are powerful, uh... You probably won't have money to have all the weapons right away, so you'll have to come back to the planet and do it. Now, I just want to make sure we got everything on this planet before we go. Now, remember, secret items don't, you know, show up if you missed them or anything, so... 
The only bolts and skill points are actually visible. Oh, there we go. So let's equip the slingshot. And do this. See, I knew this... We could miss this. I'm assuming this is for an item or something. I know it's not for a skill point. Oh god, that made my heart drop there. I'm like, no, don't, don't fall and die, dude. Nah. Remember, though, if you ever need to die in a Ratchet & Clank game, it's fine, because there are no lives, and god damn it. I don't believe this is the one one of the uh, planets where you need to do this, the grind rail without taking damage. This is literally an all-bonus grind rail. And then once we get the gravity boots, then we can go back to planet Uzla and fully complete it. It's a... Oh, no, I know what this is. Put it in the slot. The weapon you want modified. Put it in the slot. Oh, I get it. You make weapon modifications. Yep. I can take your puny little weapon, and with a few, uh, tweaks, I can turn it into a powerful piece of equipment. Look, you want me to hook you up or what? I can't hang around here all day. Welcome to Slim Cognito. Also, rare titanium is used for this. Or, no, this these are platinum bolts. Sorry, these are what the bolts are for. Lock on mod, acid mod for mini nuke. Lock on mod for that, lock on mod for the... Probably just gonna buy... Those. And you can come back here anytime you want to upgrade your weapon, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, see, there's the printed pad. So anyways, with that, we can now leave this planet. And we can head, head to the Vuka Vukovar Canyon on planet Barlow. Find the Desert Riders. Now this one's going to be a little bit annoying to get the skill point. Might not be able to get it on the first try. Woohoo! Yeah, I, I might cut out these again. Maybe, I don't know. Anyways, Planet Barlow. I got Pokemon Sun again, too, so expect some Pokemon content back up on my other channel. For a map, You tell me that every planet. So, uh, let me just grab my book here. So, yeah, we we did all of Planet and Daco. Oh, never mind. It's literally just beat one of the races in uh, two, uh, under two minutes and ten seconds. So, yeah, we are also almost very close to getting... Uh, the mini turret launcher. So anyways, Blitz Cannon it is. At least on the floor. Actually, before we do anything, we need ammo. I, I didn't realize how low we were. Oh, we also have the new weapon here known as the Seeker. So you can destroy... Uh, that's a really, really cheap weapon, apparently. Like, it's cheaper than the beginning weapons. Anyways, we'll buy that. Uh, and then we'll go to the Quick Select and customize it. We don't, I don't think we need the dynamo anytime soon, so we'll get rid of that right now. Now this weapon... is It's kind of like the, uh... Seeker launcher, I believe, from Future, but it's weaker. Actually, it's not weaker, it's literally, it just homes in automatically. So it's actually, in my personal opinion, better. It just levels up, once again, really slow. Now for these guys, use the Pulse Rifle, because they're tough. Also, Pulse Rifle can find critical slots on enemies, which is really cool. Now, I actually really like the design of this planet, I just feel like they could have did more here. Though, I do believe you get classic weapons. So, yeah, this is going to be one of those planets where it's going to be important to come back to when you have money. Like, not only like are there classic weapons, you get introduced to, you know, stuff here. See, the Blitz Gun isn't as powerful as the Seeker because it's not. It doesn't insta kill these guys, so. Probably should upgrade the uh, Blitz Gun. It's also good for arena challenges. And yeah, there's a challenge to beat Chain Blade with only your wrench, and then a challenge to beat. Um. 
B2 Brawl without taking any damage. Now, people recommend what you do is you just upgrade your weapons for the B2 Brawler and you wait till you Double get the second wrench upgrade. Switch between recently used items. Uh, for chain blades, so yeah. Oh, god damn it, I took dumb damage from that. Okay, I'm like, there better be enemies here. This just seems kind of like empty. Desert Riders. Literally, just killing Desert Riders. They're not even really technically villains. Okay, for this. False rifle time. But, wow, the pulse rifle actually levels up crazy fast. And this, you actually see a lot of reoccurring enemies in this game. Like these guys are reoccurring. Same with the beasts. Though they, I do believe they get stronger. They are still technically reoccurring. Now there are also two bolts here that I'm not entirely sure where to pick up. Okay, you know what? Oh. Damn it, man! No, how do you... Ah, there we go. Wait, no. That didn't help. Oh, yeah, I forgot. R1 doesn't fire in this game. I'm so used to uh, future where R1 actually does the firing as well. Wow. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, with that... Uh, okay, there's some more boxes here. I still don't have enough to get the other weapon, though we almost do, once again. Uh, oh, these enemies down here. These guys look like a piece of cake. Easy. Oh, that opened up. Any enemies? Nothing. There's literally nothing in there. Like, as for the bolts, I really don't know where the bolts are going to be here. So just look up the... I do believe we do get introduced to a new gadget here. Now, I'm not entirely sure if we have to pay for it. I'm pretty sure if we do... As do we have to pay for almost everything in Ration Plant games. Very rarely are they ever just given to us. I wonder, I wonder if these beasts are good for leveling up the Blitz Gun as well. Like, it's good because it also has knockback. No, the Blitz Gun just levels up slower than the False Rifle. Probably because it has 40 ammo instead of, what? 8? There might be an ammo mod. I have a feeling that... Slim, if he does have an upgrade for it, it will be a uh, an ammo mod. I like how later games incorporate those features a little bit better. Oh, that is a lot of dudes. I really like this. It's some good experience for your weapons. Look at that, man. Our weapon's almost fully upgraded now. And once this is upgraded, oh man, hallelujah, we'll be sitting pretty. Ah, uh, that's supposed to open up. Something's still al Something is still alive, and I don't know where it is. Like, you can hear it, too. I knocked an enemy down a cliff, didn't I? Or, apparently he died. I don't know what happened. Like, seriously, it was supposed to just activate. Oh, this might actually be for the classic weapons. Yeah, this is for the classic weapons. Excuse me. I think I just blew another vacuum tube. Should I have a look? My word! You young people are so fresh these days. Oh, don't feel bad. I guess I'm just old-fashioned about that sort of thing. Did you know that I've been with Gadgetron since the beginning? So you sell these gadgets? Darling, they sell themselves. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I have any. Which is sad, because I believe they're actually quite expensive. Yeah, Rhino is a million. That's not that bad, though. Walloper's 8,000. Uh, oh, well, we get the Bomb Glove for free. So that's cool. Uh, also, you gotta buy ammo again. Just like the classic. Game. Yeah, they don't upgrade either. So, Oh, wait, no, never mind. This was also for the Desert Riders. That's kind of cool. Oh, well, I'll just plow through these little guys like they're nothing. And then we can also go buy that new weapon. Oh, also, I'm pretty sure all you guys were not here beforehand. 
There we go. Uh, just take you down. Take you to the bank and cash you. And we'll buy you as well. Okay, now we definitely gotta go back to the quick select. Um, probably not gonna use the Lancer at any time soon, so let's put in the mini turret. Just hate that, like, if you go to push square, there's no other page. So it is kind of a nuisance. I usually skip out on the mini turret, but after playing up your arsenal and finding out that it's actually a decent weapon, I think I'm actually gonna use it again. Okay, so anyways, let's go do the Desert Riders. I'm not really fond of these guys, but we have to. Okay. Hey, who let you in here? Get lost for I flatten your robot into a hubcap. Touch him, and it's Plasma City! Oh gosh, you didn't have to yell. <laughs> Why did he have to yell? Uh, hey man. I can't hear you. La 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 la. Only the little guy. Sir, it is okay. We are your fellow desert riders. You are? So you understand my sensitivities? Absolutely, sir. We just came here to race. Well, you can borrow my bluebell. So long as you're gentle. She just needs a few repairs. Hang in there, my brother. Bluebell is in good hands. Yay! Well, it looks like we have to unlock her for some reason, because apparently unlocking her from her, I guess, like, bike rack type thing is literally repairing her. Also, this one is very slow-paced. Okay, no, I did have it right the first time. See, that right at the ending there, you literally have to click X at the right time. Okay. This this seems interesting, so yeah, just follow those commands. It's not that difficult. This is a, oh, that's a boost, not a weapon. Woohoo! Just remember to keep collecting boosts. Now you have to win. Now you can actually blow up. That's the sad part. You actually can. Remember, just use the boosts whenever you get them. Well, whenever the boosts that you're currently using run out. Yeah, you can actually blow up right there to smash into the wall. But yeah, also there's beasts here on the track as well. Now, you can't actually beat this within the given time frame until, I believe, the third. Yeah, see, like, it took... 50 seconds just to beat the first one, let alone having to do it again. It's gonna be annoying. We're not gonna be doing all of them in this episode. I'll probably, like, just do them off screen because no one wants to see racing. We're not watching Mario Kart or anything cool like that, no. Oh man, getting lots of boosts here. Woohoo! Remember, boost is key though. It's funny, my computer hasn't been falling asleep lately, which is really funny, because normally, like, ten minutes into recording, literally exactly ten minutes, it'll it'll turn black, but it's eighteen and a half minutes in, and it's, you know, not going black yet. So, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. It's actually being cooperative now. Okay, we cut three seconds off that one. Okay, we got max boosts now. Yo. Wow, we actually passed last place. Man, I gotta love the free boosts, though. So yeah, in this episode, we're literally just gonna do, like, the main race, and that's it. We're not gonna go do, like, the side race missions. Because I literally asked you guys beforehand, I, like, asked some of my subscribers, and no. They don't want to see that on screen. Like, that's, this is literally the part of the game that no one wants to watch. And I don't blame them, it is actually very far. Oh wow, we caught up to another really far behind racer. There we go. Wait. 2 minutes and 26 seconds. We have to beat it in 2.10. We're only 16 seconds off, so that's that's not bad. Great racing, Did really buddy. good. Here, take this helmet so the guys know you're one of us. Thank you, sir. Uh-oh. 
Incoming message from the boss. Attention all thugs for less employees. First of all, whatever slug brain's been eating all the choochie bars in the break room, better quit stuffing his face. Hello? Hey, turn those lights off! It's bad feng shui. Ahem. <clears throat> Next, our space rendezvous point has been moved to, and listen up, knuckleheads, the Felsen system in sector one, two, three, four, five. If you're no good with numbers, find a buddy to help you. Lastly, the company picnic is this Sunday. Don't forget to bring your own juice this time. Hey! I saw that, Cletus! You just turned yourself a writer! Don't that worry. Cletus. The boss only yells because he loves us. Yes, sir. I do feel his affection. Did you see that broadcast? Not really. We should scope out that rendezvous point. Yes, we might intercept some stray transmissions. Okay, Thug Rendezvous Feltzen system. Which I'm pretty sure it's just another one of those, um, like spaceship missions where you shoot things so anyways i think in the next episode what we're going to do is we're going to go explore the other half of the planet so if you guys enjoyed this video remember to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you